everyone and welcome to another video uh, today I'm going to talk about how to finish your dimension wars uh, as quickly as possible perhaps you're in a hurry and you still want to uh, burn through all your energy When you, when I first started out, I didn't really know this, but you don't actually have to fight anything in these events. You can just close the the combat. Uh, so right now, I'm just trying to find the bosses as quickly as possible. Well, I'm going to take the treasures in my way. Died as well. So this is an intermediate intermediate dimension and I'm on level 8 I'm still going to take this God's Blessing because they are definitely worth it uh, now I have to fight these bosses to be able to finish the level however the trick can also be used if you if you get an element where your self is weak uh, but you still want to use the correct element self to get the resistance and the uh, uh, reduction of energy per step so if you get the wrong dimension use uh, your level 1 or whatever self uh, from the right element uh, and because of this you really should try to get one of each self you don't have to level them, you just want to have them uh, I'm going to take these uh, and then you can just uh, find all the bosses and uh, exit uh, and then you can go back and finish Uh, all the fighting uh, later uh, using your strong self so uh, so and it won't cost you any energy to step on squares you've been on before so you still take advantage of the re resistance bonus from having the correct element but then you can use your strong self to be able to finish the combat now, most of the time on these regular fights that's not necessary because they're kind of pretty easy but for instance on the uh, the intermediate level boss on the final level uh, can be a bit tricky uh, I can probably beat it now at 140k battle rating but when I first started with the intermediate I was below 100k and then it was a real challenge uh, I think there's a difference between the elements uh, and right now I'm in the water dimensions and water are usually the easier ones so I could probably do it anyway but switch to Hades on the final boss just in case and I'm searching through the levels using the a set pattern to spend as little energy as possible still mapping out all the squares and then I usually go back once I've finished the dimension uh, you can go back and get all the treasures and uh, kill all the monsters so you get shards to open new dimensions and once you get some decent resistances you will 
be waiting for your dimension to run out every now and then, so that gives you time to finish hunting for treasures and so on. So I try to run through the dimensions as fast as possible and then go back later. Okay, so there's and since this is an intermediate dimension on levels I don't I think seven through nine there are three bosses and these intermediate dimensions are the same size as the basic ones. but twice as many levels. And the rewards are quite a bit better, so... It's a good level to be at. But you need to be able to finish the final boss. And I think the game recommends a hundred and seventy battle rating or so, a hundred and seventy k. Which isn't necessary, but you still need to be decently powerful to be able to do it. So far we've only gotten the lousy findings from searching. Searching costs 50 energy, which is quite a lot, especially once you get your resistances up there. My one step costs only 11 energy for me, so that's almost five steps. But there are some good rewards as well. You can get the silk equipment socket shards or, or rods and some other things that are useful so I do it anyway and also I it's a good way to spend my energy now with this death and redemption you should basically you should always skip there's no point 50% of the time you die, and the other 50% you just gain a revive attempt. And you can just get more revive attempts than you will need when you clear these maps. Is that next session? Final one. And I think there's one regular boss here, and, and the final one. energy today. It looks like I'm going to finish this dimension with some energy to spare. And there we have the final boss. So you can do this just to have visited the square. go back with your real self. These merchants are actually decent, some of the time there they can be a few okay deals. Most of the time though there isn't. There we go, there we have the sea tower I was looking for.
once you get going with these dimensions you should try to stack the same element once as often as possible which is obviously high easier as you gain levels and your resistance gets higher ok so time for the final boss and then I'll switch to my Hades which is a lot stronger and then we challenge the boss Yes, this took a while still, but it would have taken a lot longer if you had to fight all the creatures on in our way. Now I can just... I think I, have, I will have 13 days left on this dimension once I finish it, so hopefully one of those days I get enough time to go back and claim all the treasure and fight all the monsters uh, which you still need to do if you want to get enough shards uh, to be able to pick which element you want and there's a clear advantage of doing that so you probably should if you have the time back later. I'll see. And I'm at 10 energy per step for the first time. So that's great. Now we'll come back some at a later time and finish this my 600 energy that I have left, which is almost 70 steps now. Okay, I hope this helped someone. Until next time.